This is Marjorie Wildcraft, and on this edition of Homesteading Basics, I'm going to talk about the lessons I've learned from several years of operating a hoop house. This is a hoop house that's about 12 feet by 48 feet long and if you need a big greenhouse really fast and economically a hoop house is definitely the way to go. In fact for me it was super easy. I actually built this thing with one finger. Yeah, I said hun to my husband, I want a hoop house right there. <laughs> And he built it. He's real handy and he loves it. Actually, I did help some. Anyway, it really is pretty quick to put up and very cost effective. There's a couple of things we've learned about it. We're, we're growing here in central Texas and uh, we have different extremes of heat and cold. Um, what we found, what works really well, is using mesh in the, in the summer months. And we, used, we found that a 70% mesh worked really, really well. It had a good amount of shade. We have a lot of intense sun here. And yet it allowed a breeze go through. And uh, we were able to grow things really well uh, inside the mesh only greenhouse. What we found in the winter time was just having plastic on was the best way to go and taking the mesh off. Um, the plastic definitely kept the greenhouse nice and toasty and nice and nice and warm and and uh, you know we were growing fabulous plants all winter long. The main thing about this is is this creates a pretty big maintenance issue twice a year. So in the spring we're taking the plastic off and we're putting the mesh on and then in the fall we're taking the mesh off and putting the plastic on. And we did operate it for a while with the plastic and the mesh together in wintertime and we found out that that just doesn't work that well. That maintenance chore twice a year is going to take about four people for a greenhouse this size and uh, so that means we get the whole family involved with that chore. But you can use a greenhouse for uh, the full seasons if you're willing to do that kind of work. My other concern with that is the mesh seems to be holding up real well but the plastic, um, I'm not sure what the lifetime of that is going to be. And I think the extra work of taking it off and on adds extra wear and tear on it. And it may not last as long as it would if we'd just kept it in place throughout the whole year. Uh, I've spoken with different operators of commercial greenhouses. And it seems that that plastic lasts anywhere from one to three years based on the different farmers that you talk to. And personally, that, that um, Gosh, I feel that that's like a lot of material that doesn't last that long and a lot of waste, but, uh, you know, it does seem to be effective and that's the way it is. So this is Marjorie Wildcraft and operating a hoop house. Again, if you need a, a big greenhouse really quickly and fairly inexpensively, this is a good way to go. We're going to be doing a lot more about greenhouses and growing in greenhouses in future episodes of the Homesteading Basics, so subscribe, stay tuned. I'll see you on another one.